Hey you guys, so today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video. Um, I'm thinking it would be kind of cool to do um, like swatch videos based on either brand or season or whatever. So if you like this video, then let me know in the comments and I'll do more of them because basically I was going through my makeup collection and I was like, holy crap, I have a lot of shit. So yeah. Let's jump right into it. I thought for my first video it would be fitting to do the Whitening Lightning glosses and lipsticks. Um, Whitening Lightning is a brand you guys probably like heard about non-stop on YouTube. Everybody raves about them and goes crazy. So I was a little bit skeptical at first. I'll show you guys the five new lipsticks that they have and then I'm going to show you five of my favorite glosses from them as well. I'll also probably just throw a little like mini review in here as well um, and tell you guys my thoughts on all these products. So let's just jump right into it. The first color that I have here is Nude. Um, it's a pretty standard nude. Um, it has a nice peachy kind of warmness to it. It's a little bit more pink than I would probably like for a nude, um, but it is really pretty. This one's gonna look good on most skin tones because it's not so white based that it's gonna look ashy on darker skin tones. Um, the formula overall I actually do like. It's not... I'd say it's like a semi-matte almost. It's not fully like dry matte. Um, it's like more creamy, but it does have kind of a more satin finish, I guess is what I would, how I would put the. The next color I have here is Tequila Sunrise. So, I mean, it's coral, so that uh, made its way into my must-have collection. Yeah, I'm wearing Tequila Sunrise and Nude mixed right now for a little bit more toned down look. But this is a pretty beautiful coral, I'm not going to lie. I like that it's more yellow based instead of white. Um, again, the white kind of base lipsticks tend to look really, really ashy, um, even on fairer skin tones. So this is actually a pretty nice color. Formula is consistent thus far. Next color I have in my collection here is um, All Dolled Up. And this, I would say, is a pretty damn close dupe for Candy Yum Yum. Wow. Hold on. Let's test this theory, shall we? We shall. I went to go look for Candy Yum Yum and it was literally the last lipstick that I picked up. Ugh, I hate that. Okay. Let's try these side by side. Wow, those are pretty damn close. Wow. Hmm. I'll show you a close-up a side by side comparison. Um, beautiful color. Very similar texture. A little bit less dry in the um, White and Lightning. Or I guess they're Gerard Cosmetics now. So this next color is called 1995, and this was um, created in partnership with Jaclyn Hill, um, whom I'm sure you all know, and it is kind of supposed to be like a dupe for the Kylie Jenner lip. It's really pretty. I feel like it doesn't suit me the best because I think I'm just, just like a touch too fair for my liking for it. Um, it's a little bit too brown for me, I think. like. But it's it's beautiful on anyone that you has even like a slight tan to medium skin tone, even deep skin tones. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful color. It's going to suit a wide variety of people. It's not my favorite um, just on me, but what can you do? The next color that I have here is Fire Engine, which is just a pretty basic red color. Very blue based I'm seeing here. It's really pretty though, really rich. I tend to shy away a little bit from blue-based reds, but I'm trying to kind of delve a little bit deeper into them because I recently tried one from Melt that was really, really beautiful, so I'm going to test that out over the next couple days. My overall review for the Gerard Cosmetics or Whitening Lightning lipsticks is, um, I would say a good, like, 8 out of 10. They have a really nice texture, and wearing them now, they feel really comfortable. Um, they aren't too dry while still having a pretty close to matte texture um, and this is actually, I prefer a satin texture over matte. Um, pretty pigmented, all of them actually, and a thing that I like about these lipsticks is that the formula is consistent. Um, one of my least favorite things in any brand is when one lipstick is like, mm, holy grail, so amazing, and then you try the next lipstick and it's like this piece of shit like doesn't go on at all. Um, so I like that the formula is consistent throughout. They're all pretty pigmented, um, and they're just pretty colors too. I'm digging them. So they have a very wide variety of glosses, and I have a bunch of them, but I just picked out my favorites because, I mean, if I swatched the whole collection, we'd probably just be here all day. 
One of my favorites is again in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. We'll just put the Jaclyn Hill ones all together. How about that? Um, so this is the gloss called Buttercream. This is a really, really nice nude gloss. Um, it just is like, oh, oh, man, that's so pretty. Um, it's just like this light pink. Mmm. Wow. It's just like this nice light pink gloss. It's really beautiful over any nude lipstick. If you know, you know what? What's a good example? Like MAC Myth. You know when you try on a lipstick that's nude and it's just like a little bit too light? This is the perfect color to put over top. It's just really beautiful and makes your lips look so lovely. Next favorite, also in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill, is the Rose Hill color. It's just a rosy... Man, that's such a pretty color too. It's just this really beautiful rose colored gloss. Suits so many different skin tones because it doesn't have, it doesn't lean too far blue base, but it also isn't like too far red base. It's just like this really perfect um, color. Man, it's beautiful. One of my next favorites I discovered through Nikki Tutorials and that is Sugar Mama. And it's just this really beautiful kind of like light cotton candy pink gloss. It's a little bit too light for my skin tone, but I wear it anyways because I think it's beautiful. My next favorite is this cool color called Wild Orchid. Um, this is just like this super vibrant, you know what it reminds me of almost? Is um, Hoochie Lip Tar from OCC. That is so much what it reminds me of. Wow. It's just this really beautiful vibrant purple color. Um, again, you could probably rock this on several different skin tones, so that's nice as well. My next and last favorite lip gloss is the color Seduction, and it's just this really deep... Oh, man. It's just this really deep kind of plummy... Mm, it's so rich and beautiful. It's a really, really beautiful dark, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. Really beautiful dark kind of plum color. Um, it's really, really nice over top of dark lipsticks. I prefer not to wear this one alone um, just because it's a gloss. So because it's so dark, if you kind of like rub your lips weird or something, you'll get this weird kind of crease. But I do prefer this over top of a lipstick because of that. So, what's my overall review for the glosses? For these glosses, I personally would give them probably a 7.5 out of 10. Here's why. The colors are all beautiful and they just, a lot of them suit a lot of different skin tones and they are just very wearable and mm, I just really like a lot of the colors. The texture is really, really beautiful as well. It's not super sticky, but it's somehow still, um, basically like just sticky enough that it kind of stays on the lips a little bit longer throughout the day so I really like that. All of the colors are equally pigmented I found thus far. Um, again with the kind of consistency I hate when like one's like super sheer and then the next one's like really pigmented and crazy and like all of these are very true to the color in the tube. Like basically the color you see here is very very close to what you get when you apply it on your lips. The one thing that I don't prefer about these glosses is the fact that they have a little um, light in the lid. For some people, honestly, this is like a selling point. This is like, oh, they're like, this is the best. I'm just gonna put this on in the bar. Like my mom, for instance, is like going like, she opened one of these lip glosses and she was just like, oh, this is just so much fun, Samantha. Just look at this. But personally for me, I find the light to be kind of almost annoying just because, especially with the darker colors and the brighter colors, um, like these two, I find that it kind of, it casts this weird shadow on my lip and it makes it hard for me to like put the lip gloss on, like color in the lines, you feel what I'm saying? So for me personally, not loving the light, but that's okay. Again, all of these glosses were very hyped up online. Everyone was going crazy about them. Everyone was doing videos left, right, and center being like, these are the bomb. So I was like, man, I'm really excited to try these. But I also was like feeling a little bit skeptical because I was like, mm, are they the bomb or are you guys just liars? But actually, the more that I use them, the more I really, really do like them. At first I put them on, I was like, this is just a gloss. But now that I'm over my whole little, uh, moment of distrust. Um, they actually are pretty beautiful. They're very pigmented, um, very creamy feeling on the lips, so I like that a lot. I do like the lipsticks as well. Um, I think that, again, they just kind of are, they're just a nice texture and they're pigmented and beautiful. 
Beautiful. So yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see more of these kind of like swatch slash review slash collection videos. And if you do want to see them, let me know either what brands or like what theme you want me to do. Peace out, guys. Ooh, just look at my pretty little dress.